guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I want us to continue our winter makeup declutter and inventory. We have done, what have we done? <laughs> face palettes, eyeshadow palettes, right? Face, yeah, face palettes, eyeshadow palettes. We have done highlighters, and we have done blushes. So today we are going to continue on and do lipsticks. I honestly don't own a ton of lipsticks. I'm not a huge like lippy person, but I know I definitely have some in here that need to go. This is all of my lipstick collection. I reorganized this um, the other day. I just like get bored or I don't know, distracted and I'll come in and just play with makeup and swatch makeup and rearrange makeup. I don't know if you guys do the same thing. Um, so I did that the other day and um, so I'm ready for us to go through this. As I've mentioned in the other videos, these are not like really hardcore declutters. I buy all of my makeup myself unless I get gift cards or people give me, like I trade with my friends or you know, we pass it along to each other. So nothing is sent to me. Um, therefore, it's a little bit harder to get rid of stuff because I do put a lot of thought into things before I purchase them. Um, so yeah, don't, don't come for me in the comments and say, you didn't get rid of a lot. Well, that's like not really the point. <laughs> the point is just to make sure I have a collection I love and that there aren't products that are just in my way that I don't use. I have learned through the years that as soon as I know if a product isn't for me, whether I don't like the formula or the colors are not right for me. I always have a girlfriend who's like, oh my God, yes, I would love to have it. So I'd rather pass it along to them um, while it is still good, opposed to when it's like sat in my collection and got old and all of that stuff. So if you're new here, I would love if you subscribe. I'm Abby. I do weekly makeup baskets every Friday night. They go up. We do uh, declutters, obviously, this video. Get ready with me. Um, I'm on a quarterly no buy, so um, I'm not buying makeup until March. And I do have Ulta gift cards, so I, I'm allowing myself to use those because the point of the no buy is to um, not spend money. I, w I will take all the makeup in the world, please. <laughs> I'm just trying not to spend a lot of money on makeup right now. So, um, subscribe. We, we, do, we do the things over here. Also, this is from Shein. Um, I did a Shein haul during my Vlogmas mini miss, so check it out. And also, soon after this video, I... Okay, okay, okay. Vlogmas, I really looked at where the views were at because <laughs> every video was like a little bit different content. And obviously the declutters and weekly makeup baskets you guys love. But the cleaning video, you guys loved it. So I did film one uh, this past weekend of taking down the Christmas tree. So that will be up soon. Maybe this week, maybe this weekend. I'm not sure. It's just going to take me a little bit longer to edit it. But, uh. Uh, I see you guys. I see you seeing me, and then I see you, and then we're, yeah, okay. Anyways, <laughs> long intro. If this sounds like something you'd like to watch, lipstick declutter and inventory, then just keep watching. Here we go. Here is my lipstick lippy collection, and it's not huge. I don't love wearing lipsticks. Well, I say that. But I've made it a mission over the last couple of weeks to, I should say couple of months, to find lipsticks that I enjoy using and that work for me. So what I was wearing in the intro is this NARS. This one is called Xenon and this is one of their uh, lip gloss. What do they call them? They call them Velvet Lip Glide and it's such a comfortable formula. Um, one thing I want to purchase or not purchase in this upcoming year at least for a while our lip products recently I picked up a lot of lip products that I do like and we'll talk about those and I just want to enjoy using those and yeah we'll go from there so I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this and I think I'll just start with the products that I love you could probably already tell what those are because I have multiples of them um and then we will just go from there In case you're wondering, this is from TJ Maxx. It's like probably five or six dollars. Okay, so here are all of my lipsticks. Let's count them up 
before we dive in. Okay, for someone who doesn't love lip products, there are 43 products here. Okay, all right. All right, so we'll just start with my absolute favorite. I would buy one in every color. <laughs> um, I just absolutely love them. That is the um, Too Faced Melted Matte. I really like these because they are semi-affordable. They're like $20 and um, if you wait for like sales, um, like 20% off, 30% off, that kind of thing, they're not truly too bad of a deal. Um, and they wear all day. They're very comfortable on the lips. I just really, really like them. So there is... This one, which is called Cool Girl, Queen Bee is my absolute favorite. And then there is um, Gingerbread Girl, which is uh, new to my collection, as well as Cool Girl. I've had Queen Bee for a little while, but I love this formula. I'm going to wait a little while to purchase some more. Like I said, I want to just use up some stuff and get love out of it before just like buying and buying and consuming and like let's just enjoy what we have and stop that whole cycle of buying um but i do love these and i would buy more <laughs> is my point <laughs> another formula that i really love and it's in the same price range but you can get it when ulta does like oftentimes ulta has it in that like 21 days of beauty or it just goes on sale but that is the buxom lip glosses they are plumping lip glosses i own four of them and I like these for a lot of reason. I like the tingling feeling that they have. Um, it doesn't like hurt or anything like that. It's not uncomfortable. It's just really nice. Um, they are a little bit thicker, so they wear for a long time for a gloss. Um, they're not sticky. Uh, I don't know. I just really like them. And also, they're easy to use up. Um, so, not in the sense like you're going to go through it really fast, but in the sense like... If you're like a panner, like me, uh, you can like see when they sit, like you can see it like as it works its way down, which is really nice. I've gone through um, full ones. I've gone through samples. I just really love it. So the color I have is Dolly Mudslide White Russian in Sophia. Love these. Again, want to use them up, but will always and forever repurchase them. Okay, another formula. You can see I buy multiples when I really like something. Another formula that is new to me, but I do enjoy it, is this Maybelline. They call it the uh, Super Stay Matte Ink. And they have a ton of colors in this range. Two things I like about it. They are affordable. They're under $10. Uh, sometimes less than that depending on where you purchase them from. They have pretty good selection on colors and recently they've come out with like a pencil version of it. Uh, but this purpley color is called Philosopher and this like pinky color is called Lover. They are drying. They are a very standard liquid lipstick in the sense that they are drying but they will not budge. Once they have dried down completely, it takes a little while for them to dry down they're not going to move. You can eat with them. You can drink liquid with them. You can go through your whole day with them and they're not going to move. And that's what I really like about them. Um, but they are drying. So during winter time, maybe not the ideal time for them. Or when your lips are chapped, not a great time for them. But absolutely love these. Love, love, love. Yeah, I wasn't playing when I said when I like something, I have multiples of it. So this is uh, on the higher end side. Um, almost Lux. <laughs> uh, not quite because these are $25 for just one. They are the Becca. They are called the Ultimate Lipstick. And what I like about these is the packaging is beautiful, which, and it has like the magnet, magnetic clothes to it. Ooh, <laughs> do you need to see that again? Ooh, okay, anyways, I'll stop. Um, but these are super moisturizing. They're easy to wear. They are not drying on your lips. So this is definitely a nice formula to wear in the winter time. Um, or as seasons change and our lips are typically on the drier end. I love them. So the first one I got from BoxyCharm. And this is in the color Taupe. 
it's so like neutral and pretty and they have quite a wide selection with this range um but this is taupe and so i really liked it and i actually like the color taupe more than i thought i would but then for the holidays they had a set and so i got three in the set and i waited till the set went on sale because honestly it was a little bit pricey for as little product as you get, but the formula is going to last a while. But we have rosewood, orchard, and then we have sugar. So this is rosewood, and you can see not a lot came in it, but it's enough to see if you like a formula, or a, I should say a color. I know I like the formula. This one is similar to the taupe color in orchard. Orchard? Orchard? <laughs> orchard? <laughs> orchid. There it is. <laughs> And then finally, we have sugar, which is more of a nude color um, every day. It's good for every day. All right. I think we have two more for, well, okay. We have a couple, a couple more doubles here. One I noticed recently is not being made anymore. So I'm going to keep it until they're basically expired. <laughs> These are the Maybelline Hot Vivid Lacquers. They're basically like a, a, a lipstick in a lip gloss form. They're super moisturizing, high pigment, wear well all day long, and they're so comfortable on the lips. I have in the color Too Cute and then Charmer. I don't know why they were discontinued. That makes me so sad, but I can't find them anywhere. So I'm going to hold on to these until they're like expired, until they smell expired. <laughs> and then I'll get rid of them. But I, I really love these. I'm really sad about that. There are products from the drugstore that I say are just as good as high end. And there are products the drugstore cannot do as well as high end. Lipsticks are a point that the drugstore does them so well. So don't feel like you need to spend a lot of money on expensive lipsticks. That's definitely an area that you can um, just buy from the drugstore. All right, so these two, speaking of drugstore, these are recent to me. They were birthday gifts from my cousin. So these are Milani lip liners. This one is 09 and what's the color? Oh, Spice, and then this one is in Nude. And they're just super, and they're super neutral, so they go with all my lip colors, absolutely perfect. So we're gonna keep those. Those are my, actually my only lip liners. Okay, now we're down to like ones that I have one of, or ones I don't love, and that kind of thing. So, I, Okay, actually, I have a couple of these Wet n Wilds. Let me grab, I think, I have one more. Where'd she go? Here it is. Okay, so here are the Wet n Wild. Here's the Wet n Wild cat suit. Some are liquid lips and some are um, lip gloss. This is a prime example of a product that is just as good as high end. You don't need to spend your money on high end. My issue with these is the color and not the formula. So this is liquid lipstick and Gimme Mocha. I love this one. We're definitely going to keep it. These are the ones that are lip glosses. I don't love them as much as the liquid, but I still think they're good. And this uh, Chic Got Real is really good with the Milani. So I'm going to keep that one. And then this is one called a uh, Taffy Tantrum. And I'm going to sit it to the side. I'm leaning towards getting rid of it, but I'm leaning towards maybe I haven't given it enough chance. So this is going to go in the maybe pile. I have some products here that are fairly new to my collection. Um, I really like them. I could love them. I just haven't used them enough. So the first is the first is Laura Mercier lip gloss, and this one is in Free Spirit. Laura Mercier and Hourglass are like my top two high-end, almost luxe type brands. And this lip gloss does not disappoint. It's thick, it's not sticky, it wears for a long time, and the color is absolutely stunning. So we're gonna keep that. And then this is new, this formula, uh, the Pixie by Petra, this is their liquid lipstick, and this one is in Pastel Petal. Absolutely 
stunning formula goes well with those Milani lip glosses and they just I just love it and I've only worn this a couple of times I need to uh, make sure I see it and it gets lots of love but I love this and I would definitely be interested in trying more colors in this formula and then, like I mentioned, these NARS, they are fairly new to my collection. I got them with Kristen when we went to TJ Maxx. So we have um, La Main Blue. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. And then Xenon, which I said is what I'm wearing in the intro. Super comfortable. Super, super comfortable. Um, I'm going to keep them. Okay, another one that I love, and I only have one of. This is the Dose of Colors Lip Gloss and Messy Bun. Super pretty formula you can see it has like a little bit of a sparkle in it but it doesn't look like glitter on the lips it's really truly stunning so i do want to keep this guy okay so here are ones that i i like i don't love i do like them though and i enjoy, enjoy using them first is galactic this is in the color posh this came in boxy charm a while back absolutely love it love it love it um it's not like a favorite, but when I wear it, I'm like, oh, I should wear you more. So we're going to keep that. This is a Kat Von D Lolita. Um, I've had it for a while, and it's still good. And I don't love this formula, but I'm going to keep it until it goes bad, basically. <laughs> Long story short. Uh, and then this is the Milani Almost Natural. This is their plumping lipstick. And uh, the, they call it Keep It Full Plumping Nourishing Lip Plumper. And the formula, I got it because of the Buxoms are plumping. So I was kind of curious if a drugstore ones are kind of similar or not. Actually, while we're talking about it, we can talk about the NYX. Because this NYX one, Mocha Twisted, is also lip plumping. Um, the color is just off for me. It's just the color. Like, it's too nude. And I've tried, like, mixing it with other things. But it's just... Uh, it's too... It's just not the right color, but I kind of wanted to see if maybe I could just use it as a topper. I still want to play with it. It's pretty new. And then another one that's new to me is the e.l.f. one. I don't really notice this one plumping very much, um, but I've only used it once or twice. So again, I want to use it. My lipstick collection is fairly on the newer side because I have been decluttering um, my lipsticks fairly recent um over time so i usually just get rid of stuff as i don't like them or want them okay so now we're down to ones that um i have some opinions about two that i like are right here so this one is the l'oreal this is L'Oreal Color Riche 906. Really like this. L'Oreal has beautiful packaging. This is a very moisturizing lipstick similar to the Becca ones. And then this is my very first lippy stick. Um, I really like it. This is in the color Cami Matte 1914. My friend Danny got it for me for Christmas and I've worn it a few times and it's nice. Um, it doesn't dry down. Um, it's very comfortable and moisturizing. So definitely going to keep it that. Uh, let's see. Okay, this one's expired, so we're going to pass it along. <laughs> this is, or pass it to the trash, I should say. Bare Minerals, Mar Marvelous Moxie, and Live Wire. Love this formula. It's similar to Buxom with that kind of um, minty feel to it. Love these. Highly recommend if they still make them. You purchase, but it is old. Um... Next up, we have one called Han. This is a skincare cosmetics all natural lip gloss in the color Raspberry Chardonnay. This came in BoxyCharm a while back, and I just don't love it. And it's separating. Um, I probably have had it close to a year, and with it being more of a natural uh, brand, it just doesn't hold up. So we'll pass that along. Here is another old one. This is Milani's Liquid Lipstick in 10 Adorable. They call these Amour Mattes. These are pretty drying. Um, they're not bad, honestly, but they are on kind of a drying but crumbly side. So I don't love them, but they're so affordable and have so many color ranges. Sometimes I'll just try them out if I'm interested in the color. And I went through like a nude stage, see if I would, like, would love nude lipsticks. Um, but this is 
over a year if not two years old so let's get rid of it this is color pops and kathleen lights moon child and i bought it uh as i was picking up other color pop items on the website probably a year or two ago and this formula disappears it just does not last longer than a couple of minutes on the lips and i just I don't love that I want you to last a little while like I get lip glosses don't last like while you eat or something like that but they shouldn't just disappear and I find this just has zero lasting power um I've always held on to it because it's Kathleen lights and ColourPop but we're gonna pass that along to the trash can because it's also on the older side I decluttered this if you guys watch me regularly you know I decluttered this a couple of months ago but then I got lip liner, so I was like, maybe I'll just play with it um, a little bit more. So we're going to keep it and play with it a couple of more times and then see how I feel about it. But it's Juvia's Place. Uh, the color is Soul, and it is a liquid lipstick. <laughs> I need to play with this one more time, but this is the Flower Girl um, Miracle Matte Lip in English Rose. The color is pretty, but similar to the Milani, it just kind of crumbles and looks gross. I want to wear it one more time. It's going to go over in the maybe pile, but I'm pretty sure we need to just get rid of it. This lipstick I know for sure I'm going to get rid of. This is Sephora's lipstick in... Does it have a name? Let's see. I can't read what this name is. I'm not sure. But this is Sephora brand, and I think the color is okay. It's just a super thin lipstick formula that shows every line and crease and imperfection in my lip and i don't like that like please don't put me on display sephora so i've only worn it a couple times but we'll pass that along to a friend maybe they'll have better luck with it this is a classic this is an icon here on youtube this is jua skinny dip um i had always wanted this and i recently got it as a sample uh, and it is so intense. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep it, use it a little bit longer, but I don't love it like I thought I would. But she's intense. Alright, Sephora. I had picked this up as well when I picked up the lipstick. This is their plumping lip gloss in Outrageous. Oh, it's called Irreg Outrageous Effect Volume 02. They only have a couple of shades in it. The color is okay. It just smells like something is burning or it's burnt like I don't know what chemical in there is making it smell like that but it's very concerning to put it on the lips so we're gonna get rid of that I should throw it away honestly like why does it why why is it like that I don't know um this is new to me I haven't even tried it out well maybe once this is this is Sephora lip glass this is Oyster Girl by uh, MAC. I've always wanted to try their lip glasses. This was given to me by one of you guys. Hey. Um, I need to play with it more. I think I've maybe just swatched, swatched it, swiped it, swatched it. <laughs> but I don't think I've actually put it on my lips yet. Alright, this was also given to me by one of you guys. It is a clear lip gloss in Natural Collections. I did use it a little bit. Um, it's in vanilla, uh, but it's been a couple years, so we'll go ahead and pass it along. And then this is from Desi. This came in BoxyCharm, and I don't know the color. Like, it doesn't have a color on the bottom. I'm pretty sure it's a, yeah, it's a liquid lipstick. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to pass it along. It's okay. Like, I don't mind the color, but I don't love it. I don't love it. Okay, so here is everything we are down to. So we moved 10 out, so we are down to 33, which is still a lot. I'm kind of wondering what we can do here. Okay, at least it doesn't look as cluttered as it did, but I'm gonna add this uh, Milani one to the chopping block. So that will be 11 items. I say chopping block, but I'll probably just end up passing them along because I feel like if I, I'm trying to like want to want them, but I know I don't want them, if that makes sense. These, the products that I have left make me so excited when I see them. 
um, I feel like I want to use them right away and I just want to feel that way about everything that I own whether it's lipstick clothes or you know anything um Juvia's place I also want uh, I don't know I don't know it's so similar but not to the gingerbread you can tell one's more orange than the other I don't know what to do okay so we passed on 11 so there's 32 in here and I think I feel pretty good about them. Okay, Juvia's place, chopping block. All right, so <laughs> we have 31. 31, here are the ones I love. I'm so excited to have in my life. <laughs> we are one together. <laughs> here are the ones that um, are on the chopping block. Juvia's place, Milani, um, Wet n Wild, and Flower Beauty. Here are the ones that need to go in the trash can. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Right here, trash can. And then here are the ones that, um, this one probably should too. I don't know that I want to pass that along to anyone. Sephora, pass along, and these will get passed along to a friend if I decide to not keep them. So, I think we did pretty well here. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> okay, alright. Guys, that was the lipstick to clutter in inventory. Next up, our face products, primers, foundations, and concealers, and setting powders that me oh and i have bronzers as well yeah we'll, we'll split those up into two videos maybe but hey thank you all so much for watching let me know what your favorite lipstick formula is down below in the comments and i will see you guys in my next video bye